And we wore uh, three sense cams to various events that we went to, including a, a major conference on memory in Australia in 2006. Some months later, we tested our memories, and this was done in a very informal way. We just sat down, tried to recall events by looking at our desk diaries, uh, or tried to recall those events by looking at sense cam images. And what we discovered was that we all had these amazing memories that we hadn't realized that we'd even encoded to begin with. So my colleague, Dr. Moulin, for example, uh, upon viewing one of his sense cam suddenly remembered the song that was playing on his iPod as he was walking into the conference one morning, which is really uh, quite astonishing. Uh, I suddenly remembered, uh, looking at some of my SenseCam pictures for the same conference, a uh, number of people who'd been on a particular panel uh, at one of the meetings. These are things that aren't depicted in the SenseCam photographs. And that's the interesting thing about it. What people remember is in addition to what's depicted in the photographs. And the remembering is usually sudden, very, very detailed, and very unexpected. One of the uh, interesting properties of SenseCam pictures is that they bear many similarities to human memory. First of all, they're from your own perspective, and our memories often are from our own perspective, not always, but often. Uh, they're of short time slices of action, and human memory at the most specific level is exactly like that. They are, of course, visual in nature, and human memory tends to be visual in nature. It isn't all visual, but a lot of it is visual. Uh, and importantly, they're taken outside of conscious control. Just as you have no real control over what you remember of this video, uh, your brain will take care of that for you. Uh, so it is with sense cam images. They parallel the formation of memories in the sense that they're formed outside consciousness. As our work's developed and we've moved more into running neuroimaging studies and looking at uh, patients with brain damage, we've come to realize that SenseCam is having a massively powerful activating effect on these hippocampal neural networks that are involved in memory. Well, what's going on there, we believe, is the SenseCam images provide an incredibly specific cue, and that cue maps onto the content of the memory in long-term memory, and it's that mapping that causes a very specific memory to suddenly become active and enter consciousness. And for those who don't have memory impairment, particularly younger groups of people, uh, we also now have evidence from the many projects that are currently being conducted using SenseCam that in fact benefits everyone, even young students aged 19 whose memories are probably working more efficiently than they will ever work again in their lives if they view a sense cam series of images in the evening of the day they took those images their memory will be greatly enhanced and uh, there's strong evidence coming out from uh, Bill Brewer's group at Urbana-Champaign showing that to be the case.